Greetings. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. Today we will speak about unconditioned love. The difference between selfish love or the craving for another human and the phenomena of unconditioned love, real, genuine love, are two very different things. What people normally speak of when they speak of loving or loving someone is nothing but the fear of being alone, left behind, be forgotten, and the craving for physical unity. This feeling, this emotion is based on fear and has nothing to do with love itself. Love is a feeling completely of a different nature. Love is independent from an object to be loved. Love is a universal power which melts the one with the all. That's why it's called unconditioned. Because it asks for nothing, this love wishes for nothing and needs nothing but itself. Adepts of long past times have understood this and once you have experienced unconditioned love, you will be a absolutely different being. Imagine a human who could be absolutely happy, joyful and blissful, all on its own, all by himself. independent from the opinions, the moods, and the treatment of others, knowing that he or she is self-contained, full with the love of the universe and for the universe, just in the clarity of heart and the understanding of the one mind. This is the highest a human being can reach. This is the summit of human understanding, human development, this is the unity, the marriage between man and the universe. This universal love you feel when you are inclined 
by being somewhere all of a sudden feeling completely unprepared sort of a rupture deep deep inside of you inside your heart it's a warmth which develops to a heat which feels so comfortable so warming and makes you feel safe and joyful the tears will fall out of your eyes and you have to cry cry for love cry for unconditioned love which does not need another person or anything else just the pure love for existence itself that is the highest form of a superhuman the highest form man can reach anything else is of lesser, lesser quality anything else falls under the laws of selfishness and egotism and is only an excuse for weakness and hopelessness a truly unconditionally loving person will have superior health because on a cellular level deep inside even this nourishing love will be felt and will keep you strong and healthy and cleanse out all the residue of egotism and selfishness it is the true marriage between man and cosmos it is the unification of the male and female forces to one and the same it is the cosmic spiritual miracle the ancient adepts were fighting for to reach this is what i'm trying to teach you unconditioned love unconditioned health and joy inside yourself without any help from others rudolf of germany have a nice day